Hey Ron, in this video, I'm gonna take you through how you can make three feature films as a director. You might be thinking that sounds absurd because how the hell can I make three if I can only make one at a time and maybe I'm even struggling to make that first feature film. Well, luckily for us, about uh, 30 years ago now, um, a guy by the name of Arthur Devaney wrote this book, Hollywood Economics. Now, this won't be a boring economics class, but I definitely will be crunching some, num some numbers with you. If you haven't read that book, I highly recommend that you buy it um, and you read it. It is one of the largest studies ever done on how films make money. And it looks, like, it looks at things like, um, you know, how much does having an, a, a big star affect box office revenues? Uh, how, uh, in terms of like how a film opens, how does that affect box office revenue? So it basically looks at revenue, box office revenue over a 10 year period and it studies that in detail. And I don't wanna take you through all of that on this video. What I wanna take you through is how it affects the careers of a director because what they assessed as they were looking at all this data was how many films directors make and how basically like the probability and the statistics play into that. And what they found is like absolutely fascinating. So how do you make three, three feature films as a director? Well, the way that you do it is by making one. Because if you make, or for every film that you make as a feature film director, you can expect to make three. The probability is that for each film that you make, you're expected to make three. Now, let me take you through this in a bit more detail. So firstly, 75% of directors only make one feature film. Right? They only make one. But a director who has made that one movie can expect to make three more. So if you only make one feature film, you're essentially leaving two features on the table. Now, why does this happen? It's because success breeds success, right? Every time you make a feature film, you're creating a level of success that's gonna help spur the next feature film. And there's this interconnectedness in the film industry, right? So producers are like the hub of the, all the people, um, all the artists, all the crew, all the contractors, the sales agents, the distributors, everyone, right? They're connected to, they're the main right points of contact of all these people. And so as a director makes a feature film, makes another feature film, they're getting a wider access to this network. They're meeting more producers. And so they're creating like this density of connectedness in the industry that is increasing their chances of making more films. People are seeing their work, they're reaching out to them, right? Or they're, they're, now that they have some sort of track record, they're less of a risk, so people are willing to kind of get behind them. And this is really interesting because I think like there are many, I mean, 75% of directors, right? They only make one film. But if they just knew that for every film they made, they could make three, I think that would make a huge difference on how they approached filmmaking. And what's interesting is that it doesn't stop at one. So if you make two feature films, you're expected to make six. If you make three feature films, you're, you're expected to make nine feature films in your career. Now, who wouldn't want to make nine feature films? I mean, Tarantino is only going to make 10 feature films. So it's like if you can get to three feature films, you can have... The, the length of career that someone like Tarantino has. Now, that's not to say that it's gonna be a successful, right? There's a lot of other variables that go into that, but just speaking in terms of like the amount of films that you can make. And I think if you go out and look into, oh, sorry, if you look at the industry, I think this is really, really common. Like most directors have like, most directors who you know are working in the industry, like you look back and they've made a bunch of films. And I know for my, from personal experience, I've worked a lot with a lot of directors who have actually only made one feature film and they haven't made more after that. So there is this real like point at the end of that first feature, I think that's really pivotal for a director. 
And if they know, or if you know that the kind of odds are stacked for you, not against you, then it may help propel you into the next one. So that's what I wanted to take you through in this video. I think the last thing to note is that as you make more films as a director, your probability of making more films increases. So again, if you just make more films, you're more likely to make more films. And so this really speaks to the importance of making feature films, right? There's no point sitting on the sidelines. There's no point making short films, right? Like I think, I think they serve a purpose. And then after that, you have to start making features because this doesn't look at how many short films did a director make and how does that influence feature films? It's really like feature films are the starting point for this. Feature films are the starting point of building a career in the film industry. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be referencing this book a lot more because I've learned a ton from it. So I'm going to take my findings and um, give them to you on this channel. So that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.